not doing the invitation. If you were in class or not, you know what I mean. It's good to see everyone out here tonight. We appreciate uh, your attendance and hope to see you back on uh, Sunday night or Sunday morning um, for uh, Bible study at 9 and worship at 10. A couple announcements to go over real quick. So if you'll bear with me just a minute. Um, it's good to see Thomas out here tonight. We talked about it in class. He had surgery on his right eye today. Um, everything went well. Um, he says he still can't see very well in front of him. So um, he says he's doing well, though, and he'll have surgery again next week on the other eye. So um, keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Another one that got turned into me, uh, Mark Lusk uh, has taken a turn for the worse and is in Huntsville Hospital. Uh, Mark grew up here at Maysville and is known by several in the congregation, and prayers have been requested for him at this time. So um, if you can remember him uh, during, during his illness. I uh, want to remind uh, the prime timers that your trip to Fayetteville is tomorrow. Uh, you're going to meet here at the building at 10 a.m., and you're going to eat lunch at Marvin, so uh, don't forget that. Uh, a couple announcements um, with some new instructions on here. Um, the teens will go to the haunted house at Cathedral Caverns this Saturday night. Uh, they're planning on leaving the building at 6.30. If you want to meet the group there, uh, be there at 7. The cost is $10. And again, that's open up for anybody in the congregation. You're more than welcome to, to go with the teens and hang out. And then on Sunday night, the teens will um, have a get-together at the Norris's house. Um, the movie is going to be outside, so bring a lawn chair and a blanket. Also bring finger foods to eat. So don't forget that. Uh, don't forget the Fall Festival, October the 24th at 5 p.m. There'll be games and food inside and then trunk or treat outside. Candy donations can be left outside the secretary's office. And if you want to make a monetary donation, uh, you can give that to Seth or Jill as well, too. Uh, lads, leaders, don't forget, uh, you can start signing up for events this Sunday night. Um, so uh, make sure you remember that. Um, also, too, the uh, Madison County basketball team is uh, selling t-shirts, uh, sweatshirts, and other items. And if you're interested in purchasing something, um, we have quite a few here in the uh, congregation uh, that are selling these, so you can get that information if you would like to uh, see one of us back there in the back. Um, closing prayer night will be by Steve Harless. The invitation song will be number 29, and Seth Bowen will have our invitation. Going to run an audible um, for our closing song. It'll be 427 instead of 29. I know, I know you. Invitation, yeah. Invitation. I don't think anybody marked it down. But uh, for those guys in the booth, 427. If you have your Bibles, and I hope that you do, or your iPhones or iPads, Matthew 27. Matthew 27 is where we'll be tonight. I'm reminded of a conversation that I heard uh, two of our ladies of our congregation here having uh, a long time ago. It was probably over a year ago, and I, and I, I registered in my brain. I said, I'm going to talk about that one day when, I, when I've got the chance. And so tonight, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, I don't know all the details, but I've, I've got most of them. One of the ladies was talking about how um, her and her husband were going to the doctor, and they had been to the doctor quite a bit recently because of his health problems, and uh, it was, you know, kind of getting to be almost a routine for them. And uh, this particular day, you know, they got up, they were going to the doctor, and it was a little different because as they, uh, I don't know if they got going or didn't get going at all, and they had car trouble. It either broke down, I don't remember the story, it was a long time ago. Um, but she was telling, she was telling the story to the other lady, and, you know, she said, well, I try to call my son, he didn't answer. I tried to call my son-in-law, and, and he didn't answer either. Um, I end up, uh, we end up having to call a wrecker, and uh, they had to, you know, tow our car and take us back to where we needed to go. And the other lady responded, and this is what kind of uh, made me remember this. She said, if I had only known, I could have done something. Had I only been there, it would have been different. You ever had a conversation like that? 
something happens to you and someone's told you those same things, if I, if I only would have known. If I'd have been there, it'd have been different. Or maybe you've said that to someone who needed help. You didn't know about it. Maybe it hadn't happened to you, but I want you to think about that as we read Matthew 27. Let's begin in 27 of 27. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him, and they put a scarlet robe on him. And twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on his head. And they put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, the king of the Jews. And they spit on him, and they took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put on his own clothes, uh, his own clothes on him and led him away to be crucified. And as they went out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, and they compelled this man to carry his cross. Did you put yourself in that story? You put yourself right next to Simon? See all these things taking place, and, and with what we know now, we know that it's happening to the Son of God. We see how these men are treating him, and they scourged him and they beat him. And we see they spit on him. And if we were there, it would have been different. They wouldn't have had to tell Simon to go bury, to, bury, to bury his cross. We would have rushed out there and carried it for him. We put ourselves there. We said, you know, if I was there, it would have been different. But you know, the truth is, no matter our good intentions, if we say that we would have done something differently, that we would have took a stand for, for God and for Christ at that moment, we'll never know. We'll never go back to that time. We'll never have that opportunity. But you know, every day we have the chance to bear the cross of Christ. Matthew 16, 24, Jesus says, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. And I know tonight that I'm talking to a group of Christians. But I think sometimes we have the tendency to, to look back at the past and say, you know, if I were there in the past, it would have been different. Had I only been there, it wouldn't have happened like that. And maybe sometimes we even look into the future and say, I, you know, if God ever gives me a challenge or something comes my way, I, I'm going to make a stand for Christ. And maybe sometimes we forget that, that Jesus in Matthew 16, 24 is talking about how we live presently, day by day. And every day we face situations and things that happen at work, things that happen at school that challenge our faith. And maybe sometimes we run away from those. And we don't take the stand for Christ like we should. Maybe we shy away because we, we don't know what to say it won't make a difference. Hundreds of excuses that we may give of not to bear that cross for Christ. You know, there will be a day where many will come with a different excuse when they meet God. And they'll say, God, if I only knew. And God will say that you are without excuse because I told you that those who enter in will be the ones who are faithfully carrying the cross of Christ. Are you doing that tonight? Are you doing that presently in your life? If not, make that change tonight. Don't wait. There's no reason to wait. If you have any need, come now as we stand and sing. Bless you.
Thank you, Seth. Appreciate those comments. And thank you, Don, for picking up the loose fumble there tonight. Good job. <clears throat> we have uh, 872 that we use as our closing song tonight. 872. We'll sing this through a couple of times before our closing prayer. And if you're visiting with us, come back and visit with us again, maybe even Sunday. <clears throat> I am crucified with Christ. Father, we are here this evening in joy and happiness and fellowship with our fellow Christians and friends. And Father, it strengthens us, and we are grateful for that opportunity. Father, we are also thankful and grateful for those that are able to take a portion of your word and share it with us in a way that encourages us, that gives us knowledge, and brings us closer to you. Father, we pray as we go in our day-to-day -day lives that this knowledge will be utilized in some way, that it will be shared with others, that it will be applied to our lives, that we will be good examples, and we will have integrity, the integrity of a Christian. Father, we pray that you'll give us courage to, to be that person. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.